video, I'll be setting up a 20 gallon high fish tank on this OG stand where my original fish tank was, but I promise this one is going to be way better. The first step is I have to cut a board to go right here because there's a little lip and I don't want my fish tank breaking because of all the pressure. I got the piece of wood on top of the table. It actually looks really cool. Now it's just time to get the tank up there. Well, I just learned that was pretty much useless because the glass and the black piece actually already have a lip, so covering up the other lip was basically pointless, but the wood does look nice. Now it's time to add my substrate. For my substrate, I'll be using the Fuvel Stratton. I got this off of Amazon. Link might be down in the description. I would definitely recommend getting it from there other than your big block stores because it's way cheaper and you're getting the same product. I don't know if you can see, but I actually added a very thin layer of water so my substrate doesn't just land straight on the glass. You can't really see, but now there's an inch of that stratum and I have about one fourth the bag left. Now it's just time to rinse out my filters and put them in the tank and fill up the tank with water. I got the filters going. I'll check back in when all the water's cleared up. I got some water sprite, some sword tail, and some Anubias. I just let the tank sit for a few days and actually now it's pretty clear. It's really foggy now just because I was working on trying to pot that and get the gravel or substrate all spread out. But now I'm gonna add some terracotta pots and all I'm gonna do is come right here in this bucket, get a pot and rinse it all out and then put it in there. So I'll show you after I get all of the terracotta pots and rinsed and put in the fish tank. The water's finally clear, I got my pots in and the plants, and I really like how this turned out. I really think it's like an abandoned garden that still has life. This flipped over pot mainly with the water sprite growing out of control, the Amazon sword taking over the fallen pot, and this Anubias plant right here in the center just growing to resemble life. I really can't wait to get this stocked. You might be wondering what all those white flakes are, and it's actually fish food because I'm in the process of cycling my tank, so I'm feeding it with no fish. And then here in a few weeks, I'll be able to add fish when it's fully cycled. I also just set up my thermometer. It's about 66 degrees. I want up to about 77. But I had my heater all the way over here. And you don't want your thermometer right next to your heater or else it'll give you a false read. And I also set up my heater right up to this hang on the back filter so warm water gets sucked in and is spread throughout my tank evenly. You might be wondering just why I have so much filtration in this tank, and that's actually because I want to take this sponge filter out and put it in a new tank and instantly cycle it. And I'll probably make a video on that, but when I take it out, it'll be a huge loss of beneficial bacteria. So I need these two filters working overtime. And I will put in a new sponge filter, but it will not be cycled, so it'll take a few days. But as long as I have these two working hard, my fish tank should not have an ammonia spike. If you guys are wondering where I got my two filters, airline tubing and pump from, well, I got the back filter, which is a sponge filter from Aquarium Co-op, and I really like the green straw because it's the color of algae, so it really hides actual algae growth. Along with this front one, I didn't get this from Aquarium Co-op, but it's all green, so it really hides algae growth. And I got this one from Amazon, and it will probably be linked down below, along with other things I've used in this build. And if you do buy it, it will kick me a few cents, and it will really support the channel. For airline tubing, I got it from Aquarium Co-op, and I got 25 feet of it for only 7 bucks. So this will definitely be going into future projects, and I really like it because it's all black so it hides algae growth, unlike clear tubing like other other brand that gets disgusting. And then for my pump, I got this off of Amazon, and this will be linked down below too. Another thing that really adds life and depth to this tank are these two pothos plants especially with this big pothos with its roots that go all the way down and this pothos that covers up the modified hang on the bag filter. By the way, a video will be coming out soon on just how I set this one up. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please go drop a comment on what kind of fish you'd like to see me get in this tank and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.